In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best methods to make millions of MT here in NBA 2K20 through my team. I've got some brand new MT methods that are absolutely broken, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all of them right now. But before we get into the video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I post my team videos every single day, so make sure you're subbed up, and let's get straight into these methods. So... For the first method here, let me show you exactly what to do. You're going to go over here to the home screen, and I want to show you guys how to, why this method works, actually. So go over here to the home screen, click on this, and then go over to the season agendas and go down to the um, daily hollow players XP. So as you guys know, every day you get a free dark matter for doing these challenges, but it expires every day and replaces it with a new player. So as you can see, today it's Pascal Siakam, but if you didn't do the Jalen Green one yesterday, you can't you can't pick him up for free anymore. You actually have to go to the auction house and buy him. And a lot of people will miss out on certain days and go back and try to buy the card so that they can do this challenge for the XP. So, for example, yesterday was Jalen Green. As you can see, he's no longer one of these. So, let me show you how you could take advantage of this. You go over to the auction house here. You're going to search up Jalen Green. And then you're going to go Dark Matter. And again, he's no longer a free card because it expired from yesterday. So as we know, the cheapest Dark Matters are going for about 4 to 5K. Look, he's going to be going for much more than that. He's probably going for around 8 to 9K, I think. Let's see here. Yeah, as you can see, look, this is because of that challenge. Um, he is going for more MT than other cards. So as you can see here... He's going for about 9,000 MT. Here's a snipe right here. But you see how easy that is? I wasn't even trying to set the filter up and there was already a snipe. As you can see, he's going to be selling instantly at about 89.50, 8.9K. So to guarantee yourself profit, just put the max buyout on like 7,700 and have it on Jalen Green and just keep refreshing over and over again. And this is a super easy method because you can do this with so many different cards. Let me show you other examples of how you can do this. And trust me, there's going to be snipes popping up because people are just going to be selling selling these cards uh, for, for much cheaper than they realize. Let me show you the next method you can do with this. So as you can see, Jalen Green was yesterday, but let's look at um, the day before. The day before was the En Fuego Pau Gasol. So let's see if we can possibly do that with him as well. So we're going to go over here and search up Pau Gasol, and then we're going to go Dark Matter. And we have to remember that we have to be looking at the En Fuego one. And let's see how much he's going for again. As you can see, he's not going to be going for cheapest Dark Matter price. And mainly that is because of the challenge. Um, so let's see how much this card is going for. As you can see, it looks like it's around 15 to 17K. Let's find the exact number and make sure that we set this up perfectly here. Um, and as you can see, yeah, he's selling instantly at about 16K, it looks like. Uh, let's lower it all the way down here to 16K. Um, yeah, he's selling instantly at about a little bit under 16K, probably about 15K even. So to guarantee yourself profit, I would just put the max buyout on like 12K for this one um, and just keep refreshing with that. But these MT methods are super, super easy to do. Um, a lot of them you can think for yourselves and, and try to figure out how you can make MT off of it. But what I'm basically saying with these methods is... These people are trying to go ahead and do these challenges, but the cards are no longer free. So they're going to the auction house, and as a result, the price of these cards is going up. And I can literally show you more examples of how to set some of these guys up. So another one here will be the Paul Pierce one. Um, Again, he, he he's no longer a free card anymore. He was like four or five days ago, but a lot of people missed out on it, forgot to do it, or weren't home, whatever the case may be. So with that being said, they're going to go to the auction house and try to go ahead and do this so that they can get their xp to try to get that mb at level 40 so as a result we're going to be able to go ahead and make mt off of this method by sniping this paul pierce which as you can see his price went up a lot it never used to be over 10k it used to be the cheapest card and one of the cheapest cards in the game but because of this um his price has went ahead and gone up a lot let's see at 99.50 yeah he's going to be selling here at about 9k it looks like so I would say to guarantee profit, just put the max buyout on like 8,000 MT. And at 8K, any Paul Pierce Stark matter that you see is guaranteed to make you profit. This is another easy method to make a ton of MT because there is going to be ones popping up. Now, what I will say, y'all, is in terms of... uh which of these methods is the best uh, in terms of how hot there will be and how much MT you can really make. I would say always try to do the player from the day before. So today is Siakam, of course, so don't do Siakam until tomorrow. But Jalen Green is the main one you should be focused on trying to go ahead and make MT off of today because a lot of people yet uh, might have not finished the challenge yesterday or weren't home or forgot to do it. So they're going in and they're like, all right, I need to do this Jalen Green one. So let me go ahead and buy Jalen Green off the auction house. So as a result, since 
since he is the most recent one that has ended um his filter is probably going to be the best so again literally just go to the auction house here um and we can go ahead and try to snipe these Jalen green dark matters and just check every day um if you want to do this method every day you can and you can make tons of mt off of it and just every day check and see what yesterday's card was and try to go ahead and snipe that card um from the day before so as you can see here he's going to be selling instantly at around 9k so again just try to buy him at like under 8,000 mt you can either scroll on this like i'm doing right here or you can lower it down to about eight to seven thousand mt and try to snipe him like that but again this is a very good and easy method as you can see look he is being bought out because of the challenges so you're going to see a lot of these cards selling out um and you need to be ready to go ahead and snipe any of the cheap snipes on this filter to go ahead and make a ton of mt but with that being said i do have some more mt methods in this video besides just this one there is a lot of other good methods so let me go ahead and get into another one one of them is going to be going over here to the challenges if you have not done these pack challenge sections yet there's three of them currently up end game kobe end game shack and end game luca if you guys didn't know these packs are auctionable they are not unauctionable they're actually auctionable so any card you get out of these packs you can go ahead and sell on the auction house or quick sell depending on what you get but if you literally just go through and do all of these, I know a lot of you guys think, oh, I've already done them or whatever. No, you, you probably forgot about one of them or didn't finish one of them and didn't realize. So go check right now and make sure that you've done all three of these. If you haven't, they literally take less than like 10 minutes to complete them, maybe 15 minutes um, in total for each section. Uh, besides the middle one the middle one is definitely very very quick and once you go ahead and complete these you can get a pack where you can literally get yeah, the mt amount will vary but probably a minimum of at least a couple thousand mt if you sell everything from the pack including the collectibles and whatever you'll probably get at least like three to five k per time that you do the or per section that you do um and if you're lucky enough to get like a really good dark matter or an invincible or an end game or whatever obviously you can be looking at tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of mt literally just from doing one of these sections so make sure you go through and do all three of these sections if you didn't already and if you guys did make it this far into the video comment the word kobe and i will like and reply to every single comment that does say kobe to see who the loyals are that made it to the end of this video as usual so again go ahead and comment kobe and i will like and reply to your comment and i hope you guys did enjoy make sure to go ahead and use these mt methods um they are very very good and you can make tons of mt off doing these methods that i went ahead and showed you guys um especially with these ones over here by going ahead and sniping the cards from previous days it very much does work and you guys need to go ahead and give it a shot um and you will definitely thank me for going ahead and trying it out because if you're patient with these filters um and patient with these mt methods you will definitely make a ton of mt in not that much time Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like and sub up if you are new to the channel. Um, and yeah, let's get ready for 2K24, boys. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace out. Have a good one. Peace.